Hello everyone, uh, we, I am using this reference today to create animation of a fox jumping and this is the animation that we are going to create. All right, so we're going to look at how to create uh, a fox. So we'll download the fox from freepick.com and we will rig it in After Effects using Duik Pizzle plugin and do keyframe animation and then put a background and render the scene. All right, so let's get started and see how this is done. First step is to go to freepick.com. Okay, freepick.com is where you can get uh, free vector graphics. We're going to search for Fox. Okay, and then you're going to find a, an image of a fox that can be rigged. So we need a side view of the fox. Uh, this is the graphic that I'm going to use. So if you go to Illustrator, this one is the one. So I'll control C it. Go to File, New. I'll use a A4 size landscape. Okay. And then control V it you can scale it big all right so now what we need to do is uh, separate all the elements uh, so that they can be animated separately all right so we need uh, control you can select this and drag it all the way to the top Or simply control X new layer tail control V okay so I'll turn it off this one is control X new layer this is the left back leg so control V control X New layer, left front leg, shift control V, leave it spaced in place. So this one is control X, new layer, body, shift control V, control X, new layer, right back leg. Control V, Control X, New Layer, Right Front Leg, Shift Control V, Control X, Control Z, you can simply rename this face. Alright, so face looks good. I don't think I need any. Uh, edit anything there this leg looks good this is the back leg this is the body this is the other leg this is the other leg this leg is not round like this leg okay and this is starting from way down so we need this leg to be as big as this one so I lock this one and work on this one all right so got to make sure that your character setup is right so it can be something like this and a roundness on top here so we can use this anchor point tools to make this round All right, so the tail can also be round, so we can make 
make sure that The tail is round as well. So the tail is round, the back leg, this leg. We can fix this part here, protruding out. This can be a problem area here. Okay, so just try to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. Okay, we don't want any sharpness. So the back leg again, same thing. I don't like that dot there. And then we need to make sure that things are placed properly so the face will be on top of the body this leg will go below the body this leg is already below the body so this is below this is below this should be on top this is in the back this is in the back, body, tail can be in the back as well, okay. So that's the setup in Illustrator for the character. Save this file so you should rename all these properly, arrange it in the right order and then I'll just say Fox New. Go to Illustrator, we'll go to File, save this, File New Project, Import File, we need to find, let me put everything in the right place, I'll save this one, create a, everything when you create a project should be in the right place so I'll create a new folder called Fox Jump all right and I have not put everything in the right place I'll do that so there should be a Fox new file I will cut it I don't want it there and paste it here so we have the Fox file and then I'll go to file import go to desktop and locate that file box jump we'll import it as composition create create composition all it there so import it so a new composition is created, double click on it, go to composition, composition settings, it's going to be 1280 by 720 and white color background. 
pattern. So what should you do is when you go to window do a basil okay when we are going to create the bone setup say if you go to arm or front leg if you I'll drag it here if I click on the settings I have the human option and I have uh, a digit grade and then I have a ungulate so basically this means it's used for smaller animals like dogs cats um, and birds etc and then these are for bigger animals like horse cattle giraffe pigs deer I think uh, different animals have different structure so our fox is like a dog so we will use this one and you can see that it has arm forearm hand and claws all right so if you click on claws then say create this is what we get All right. so we have to place these in the right place for the dog the fox to work properly okay so I'll undo it and what I wanted to show you when I did that was that the orientation is on this side so it is better to create the fox in that direction also so to turn the direction of the fox I'll go to layer new null object select all of these and link it to the null object select the null object hit the scale unselect this and type minus 100 okay so the fox will be flipped then we don't need the null object and delete it Now, uh, we are going to uh, start tricking the character. So, you can see that we have an entire leg for the character. So, in the next class, I will stop now. And in the next class, what we will do is uh, we will create puppet pins uh, so that uh, we can create the bones and then link the bone structure to the puppet pins. Uh, what that will allow us to stretch the character limbs uh, from where they are so you can create more interesting animations okay so that is what we will do in the next class thanks